Hello everybody, welcome back to Chicago. Here we are in front of the Belden Stratford. We got the Billy Shakespeare statue here. We got uh, March 22nd, 2024. Look at the nice little blue flowers we got here. That I don't want to say they're crocuses, but I, I'm not for sure. They might be the other type, the little blue uh, flowers like that we have in the Lurie Gardens there. There's the... Uh, Conservatory. Yeah, we did get a little snow. That's why I want to show the, <laughs> the spring flowers. I know they bloom so early this year. See, we got a little snow on the bench here, but we got 34 degrees, so the snow is already melting. It's it's dripping from the uh, eaves of the gutters and things. Look at the uh, yeah the flowers with the snow there. It was just barely enough to co cover the ground in the cars this morning, but now already it's melting. Chris messaged me and said that they got about four inches up by the Wisconsin border where he lives. And so we'll head over to the zoo. We'll be walking for about the next hour. I'm working from home today, and it's a pretty easy Friday. We'll head into the March Madness weekend. Look, someone, we, we barely had enough snow. Someone made a snow snowman. How, hey, Ricky, how you doing there? Chanel, Sharon, how you doing there? Look, look, there was just barely enough snow. Someone made a tiny snowman there. Or snow person right there where the, the blue flowers are. We're in Lincoln Park here. We'll head over to the zoo. We'll go through the tunnel here. See, we're by the Belton Stratford. We're south of Fullerton. Uh, we'll, we'll go under the tunnel and we'll head over to the zoo here. So, hey, thanks for tuning in there. Hey, Chris, are you in Geneva? See, I heard that. Yeah, people in the western suburbs, Chris said he's in Geneva there. People in the western suburbs said they didn't get anything. It was mainly, you seem to have gotten the most four inches up by the chain of lakes there. And we barely got a half an inch, just barely enough to cover the ground. It looked pretty this morning. That's why I filmed it. I walked around there on TikTok and cut out a clip there by Belden and uh, Dayton Street. See, look, here's the lawn here. There's no sign of the snow there. Hey, how's it going? And May, how's it going there? Yeah, Sharon. Yeah, thanks for saying hello to everybody here. See how the skylines and we got low cloud cover. You know, the, the snowy clouds are still here. We'll head over to the zoo. We'll see if we see any animals out. Maybe we'll go see if the meerkats are out. I doubt the giraffes will be prancing today. They'll probably be indoors. But we'll, we'll give it a try. Look at the... I almost want to cross the street here. I think I will. To film the... Uh, the trees here. You know, the, the trees are ahead of schedule this year. Chris said he had a magnolia tree up there near Wisconsin. It was already blooming. These trees are blooming. See how the little blue flowers here? We got the nice backdrop of these buildings along Lincoln Park Rest. Switzerland near Zurich. That's great. Thanks, May. Oh, well, that's why, yeah, I know you took a trip to Switzerland before. I guess that's you were visiting your eldest son. That's great. I bet that's a, that's a, that sounds like a nice location there near Zurich. That's great. There was somebody else tuning in from Switzerland this morning. And of course, Demichi tunes in from the Bavarian Alps on the German side there. I know Switzerland, some people speak German, some people speak Italian, some people speak French. And there's that fourth language, which is this completely own language. It's like Alsatian, you know, it's like a ancient language. And uh, it's, I, I bet it's beautiful there, yeah. And, Alps, the Alps. So thanks for tuning in here. We'll head back across the street here and we'll go to the zoo here. So you see there's a nice bus stop. You can take the bus. I'm amazed this car waited for me. I'm just the cars can blow through the intersection so quickly, but I guess they see a camera and they actually stop. <laughs> That's good, I appreciate it. So here's the uh Schiller statue. There's the uh Lincoln Park Conservatory. So let's head to the zoo here. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Welcome to Chicago. Yeah, the Lincoln Park Zoo, Wildlife for All. 
There's the 156 bus. You can take the 156 or the 151. They'll drop you off right here. And see, look at the daffodils or or there's tulips. Those look like tulips. The tulips are getting ready here. Yeah. It's pretty bleak. Pretty bleak. You got it. We're still, this is what springtime looks like in Chicago. We had beautiful weather the beginning of March. And now the end of March is actually colder now than it was at the beginning of March. But, uh, yeah, we'll get to the weekend. And, uh, we'll stay positive. We'll head to the zoo. We're going to have a good time here. Yeah, the bears. The bears are the same. <laughs> Everything else seems to have changed. Thanks, uh, Cliff Dweller. Thanks for tuning in there. Yeah, thanks. Uh, look, look, see, look, we got we got daffodils blooming in the snow. Look at that. <laughs> Pritzker Family Children's Zoo's over there. Let's see if the otters are out. This, this, the wolves are over here, and it's really hard to find the wolves. They usually hide. They did have the otters off exhibit. We can get the otters playing around. That would, that would be nice. I don't see them. Let's go over here. See, North American River Otter. We just went inside the Lincoln Park Zoo here. They might be inside. And uh, see, they got a nice little waterfall. Um, bear with me for a second. I'm just going to run over here to see if the otters are inside. See, they got statues to the wolves. <laughs> this is the wolves' habitat in Lincoln Park Zoo. They got a nice waterfall. Do they see them? I don't know what they're looking at here, but hey, let's see. Let's see if the otters, they got this little play area inside here. And uh, we'll see if the otters are out. I didn't come in here before. They got a they got the eastern screech owl. I don't I don't see the owl. Eh, the otters are not out. So I was just taking a chance here to see if the otters are out. The otters are so nice when you can catch them playing around here. You can see their habitat. It's a beautiful exhibit when they're out, but they must be sleeping or hiding. The North American river otter. A lot of stuff might not be out today because it's uh yeah gloomy see they got a a climbing area for the kids there i'll uh respect the, the family's fire privacy here but here we'll uh we'll go back out of here so yeah there is there is a bear exhibit over there yeah, there's the wolves there's the wolves wow so there you see the wolf right there I turned the I turned the mute. Sorry, sorry, so yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. I, yeah, when I zoom in, when I zoom in, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Thank you, thank you. I got the sound back here. That's the dangers of using Streamlabs. Is when I zoom in, I got so excited that I saw the wolf here that I wanted to zoom in, and uh, yeah, I lost. It's 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 where the mute button is on the landscape in Streamlabs. They put it right where you need to zoom. But here we want to catch the uh, wolf here. Ears up. Yeah, this is good footage here. Yeah. Yeah, this might be, you know, there was there was several wolves that when we walked by there the one time we caught them howling. And uh, I walked by here with Bob. We went, we tried to get into uh, RJ Grunt's 
and uh, it was it, it was it was Friday, so it was it, there was no we didn't have reservations, so we weren't able to get in R.J. Grunts, but. We didn't hear him that night. It's very rare to hear him howl. That's why I posted that TikTok. And uh, there, it's, it's going away there. Let's see. So, yeah, um, the, the animals stay in the zoo year round. I mean, you know, just like New York Zoo, Philadelphia Zoo, they 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 let the animals uh, stay out through the winter. Like they like the the animals that like warmer climates they got places to go in the inside and uh here we'll, we'll head around here and uh, we'll keep on going here hey we saw the wolf there sorry about the audio there but they i we caught it in time i get so excited because uh it's it's rare to see the wolf there and so i zoomed in and i cut off the audio but you were at least able to see it and thanks for letting me know right away we, we got we streaming okay good and uh yeah, that's the heron nest. Yeah, the poor wolves we talk about that. It looks like squirrel nests, but those are all heron nests. And the herons are migratory birds. They're protected. And like I say, I always feel bad for the wolves because the herons choose the nest seemingly right on top of the wolves. And they crap all over the wolves. And you can smell it in the summertime. They're guano. It's, it's really acrid. <laughs> And the poor wolves are like, ah, we're trapped here with the herons. You know, they're squawking all day long. I'm sure they love that. So here's the seals. So let's go down underneath and see if we can see the seals. I know I got footage of this from before, but it'll allow me to get warmed up just a tad bit. It's not too cold. It's 34 degrees. And uh, it's a free zoo. It's just, I'm sensitive about people are like why are you filming my kids i'm like i'm filming the animals you know i'm just you know they, they they're in the background you know and i try to i try to you know not uh there we go here's the seal yeah i'm just i'm just a paranoid person as, as people know you know and but there we yeah there, here's the seal yeah let's go there it is look at that yeah <laughs> look at that yeah, there it comes, here it comes, here it comes, yeah. Here comes the seal, it's coming right towards us. That's the gray seal, look at that, yeah. So there's harbor seals and then there's gray seals. There's two different types. Look at them gracefully swimming around there. Came over to say, look at it, spin around. Yeah, look at that. Well, like for example, before I went on here, they, they there's a lot of daycares around here and they were you know the kids hold on the little rope and walk down the street so i did i didn't want to film them i, I crossed the street to make sure they knew i was giving them their space there here's the uh seals here there it is there we go here we go here we got some seals there we go look at that yeah how you doing yeah spin around there Upside down, look at those acrobatics, yeah. Wow, here we go. So you see there's two different types of seals here. Seal. Yeah. So here we'll head right over here. They're all converging, they're all converging over here. Oh wow, look at this. There we go. <laughs> Surfaced. Yeah, they know when to pose, look at this, there we go. Right on cue, thank you. Yeah, hanging with the seals. It's got, it's got, it's got two, it's got two, it's got two fins, and it's amazing. The seals have like, they have fingernails. They have fingernails on their flippers, which shows at one time they were on land. They were like, they were like uh, mammals that went back into the water. Or why would they have fingernails? You know, they've been, they've adapted to the water. Look at it swim upside down. It's just so graceful. <laughs> there it is. It's going up on the ledge there. See how it's almost using his flippers like 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 arms. There it's just hanging out there. Okay so we'll uh, we got some good footage of the seals there. Thanks for being on everybody. I can check out the comments here. You're going to the Volvo Auto Museum? Wow that'll be nice. Yeah see if you can check out some of the cars. That would that would make a cool video Chris. Yeah I'd like to see that so I'll if you can get in there I know it's hard sometimes uh, yeah, check out some Volvos. Those are some good cars. They'll run. They'll run forever if you maintain them. 
And uh, so here's the upper part of the seal exhibit here, Lincoln Park Zoo. Welcome to Chicago. Yeah, see, so there's some families heading through here. And uh, let's go, let's go check out the macaques. the The lion house is there. Maybe we'll hit the lions at the end. And uh, yeah, they got faces like puppies. I, I call them sea dogs. You know, they used to call them sea dogs. It's funny they got the boats there at Navy Pier. They call it the sea dog. You know, and it, it, isn't it amazing how bears, dogs, bears and dogs are related with the wolves. And you know, when you look at seals, sea lions all those animals you know and then the whales just got really large you know they, they, they animals can get really large in the water you know like the old dinosaurs but uh dinosaurs are reptiles but here's the japanese macaque look how i always wanted to see him sit in a hot tub like that because they got they got a a little so look how the water's steaming. They they do heat up the water, and they do have like a little hot tub, hot spring area that they could sit in. But I rarely see them sitting in the water. They're usually sitting on the rocks because they heat the rocks. And uh, hey, lunch bunch, how you doing there? Yeah, thanks, Anna Marie, Paula, Michael, Shannon. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I miss any Andres. Yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in here. We'll get the camera straight here. Kevin's in the house. Cliff Dweller. May, that's good. Danny, how you doing there? Yeah, thanks for. There's some macaques. Here's some macaques. All oh, great. Look, they're grooming each other. There's a lot of grooming that goes on with the macaques. Is that like they're they're social animals, and they uh, groom each other. It relaxes them. How you doing there? Huh? Yeah, what do you say? You walking along there? Yeah. How you doing there, buddy? You itching? Find a bug? <laughs> What's it all about there, the macaques? See how they got a mirror? They got a they got a mirror up there on the tree. Let's see. Yeah, thanks Patricia. Thanks for making it in, Jeffrey. Yeah, we're hanging out at the zoo. So that's what when I work from home, it's really easy for me to just come over to the zoo here at lunch and we can film the macaques walking around. How you doing there, buddy? Just walking around, hmm? You know, walk up the tree. I want to see him look in the mirror there. Look at this one. Look, they're jumping around. So they're they're doing a a uh, exercise where they they tap the screen. They 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 uh, do scientific testing on them. And I see them. See how they got the 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 the. the, the I, I wish uh, Lisa was seeing that. Maybe maybe Lisa can. Pizza Lisa can tune in on the reruns here because see they 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 do they got they do experiments. They got they put like little symbols on the screen there and they tap the screen. And then they get a reward if they if they see look at that how it's waiting there it is see how tap the screen and then you get a little carrot and uh, pass the test there <laughs> look at that <laughs> yeah I don't know I see a lot of people with snakes in Chicago like there was a guy at Grant Park he had his pet snake uh, we <laughs> one time someone released an alligator and it got in the humble park. Uh, pond. I know Dan Cruz remembers that and they had to get a guy from Florida like for weeks they couldn't get it out of the it was in the summertime of course there was an alligator in the Humboldt Park uh, um, pond there and then they got a guy uh, that knew how to catch alligators from Florida he caught it the first day he was a big hero he was like no problem he caught it right away but uh, I'm sure that was like somebody's pet and they just like released it you know, the old uh, alligators in the sewer, like New York, you know. <laughs> yeah, pay, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. That's from the Wizard of Oz. Look at that. Look at the, look at the monkeys, though. He's... Yeah. Knows it's on TV there. It's like, yeah, tap the screen there. There, look. See, it got, it got it. Gets a carrot. Hey, J-Cat, how's it going here? We're hanging with the macaques here. We're passing the test there. And I seen I seen one time a mother uh, with a baby on its back, and the baby was tapping the screen too. So the baby was learning from its mother with this uh, this whole uh, system they got here. You see how yeah the water's dripping, the water's dripping, the snow's already melting. We got some snow this morning, but we're up to 34 degrees. 
so it's above freezing even though there were still some flurries in there look at the daffodils the daffodils are blooming here we're by the african dogs here let's see if we see them out here we'll head over to the uh african journey we'll go in the inside there we've been here before i you know all this stuff i end up retracing my steps but i appreciate everybody tuning in here so this is called the lincoln park zoo Kel, Kel, this is called the Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago. There's two zoos in Chicago. There's the Brookfield Zoo and there's the Lincoln Park Zoo. The Lincoln Park Zoo is the one in the city near the lake. This is a free zoo. Of course, you can donate if you want, but Brookfield Zoo is larger. It's in the western suburbs, not too far west, out there by Riverside. And there's, this, there's the stork. Storks at Lincoln Park Zoo has raised their own chicks. Several foster chicks. Look at that. And there's the vulture. Look at the vultures are over here. Regenstein, uh, birds of prey. There's the vulture. Oh, that one's got something in its beak there. Look at that. The vultures are hanging out here. Look at those little birds. The little birds are in the fence there. Let's 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 see if I can zoom in without turning off the mic here. See those little bitty birds are hanging in the fence there. And there's the vulture. Hey, it's flapping the wings there. Hanging out with the storks. So the storks and the vultures are the same thing. They got the, uh, let's see if the, uh, let's see if the uh, bald eagle's out. They got a bald eagle over here next to an owl. And that, maybe that's what that guy's looking at here. Yeah, Lincoln Park Zoo, thanks for helping out there, J-Cat. Yeah, if I miss any questions, if you know the answer, please do not hesitate to answer people's questions i appreciate that so we got both the owl and we got the bald eagle there's the bald eagle that spotted us so let me zoom in here we'll catch the bald eagle and the bald eagles in the wild are coming back in a major way they're along the illinois river the mississippi river people in wisconsin on the wisconsin river uh indiana southern indiana illinois they, they see bald eagles in the wild and this is one at the lincoln park zoo and it's been here for a while it's always looking around got amazing eyesight and we almost lost the bald eagles don't forget that and here's the owl here's the uh, snowy owl oh there's two of them there's one over there and let's see if we can zoom in and get this one well let's see it's it's hard to get the right position here right through the tree there let's, let's zoom into the snowy owl here it's kind of blurry there it's hard for me to focus through the fence there but there's one over there too but that, this is the snowy owl You see bald eagles in Chinatown in the city? That is amazing! Wow, that's great. These are these are rescued birds. So this this, this bald eagle was rescued. It's, it's it's here by permission with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. So it might have been injured. That's why it's here, the bald eagle. And you see their their habitat. You see why it's the American bird. It's it's in Canada and uh, in the United States. Isn't that amazing? That's where the bald eagle naturally lives. And uh, yeah, we'll go by the vultures again. We'll head over towards the uh, uh, African journey here. So thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Lincoln Park Zoo. And uh, no, they're different things. They, I know they, they got them in the same habitat. So there, there's there's a stork. And then the, here's the, the vultures. They're not the same thing. They just have them in the same uh, enclosure. And, <laughs> and the little birds are eating their food. <laughs> the little birds are eating the vultures' food. So I guess they can. I guess they had enough. <laughs> and there's the whole McCormick Birdhouse. Maybe we'll check that out. I want to go through the African Journey first, so we see if we can catch the meerkats. But here's the uh, river hog. The river hog. I don't see it. So here we'll head uh, right around here. Yeah, we might check out the McCormick Birdhouse if we got time. We got 1221 in the PM. Let's see if the penguins are out. We'll, we'll cruise by the penguins. There's the zebra. So let me zoom in here. We'll catch the zebra. Zebras are usually out there with the giraffes. There's a zebra walking around. See the zebras, the, the two zebras are out, even though it's 34 degrees. They're okay with the weather. And yeah, let's, let's, uh, we'll see them when we go through the penguins here. We'll go see if the penguins are out. And uh, we'll go back in this little cave. 
University of Chicago, they got bald eagles down there in Washington Park. That's amazing. Thanks for the information. So it sounds like the, the bald eagles are in the city. That's amazing. Living in the park at, 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 or in the, by the University of Chicago. That's amazing. Here's the, uh, yeah, we got 1222. I know you might just tune in. I just said it. 1222 in the PM. There's the, there's the penguins. And uh, I want to just throw time away because we're all on the same internet time. It doesn't matter, you know, even if it's nighttime where you're at. The internet bends time and space. And uh, if I didn't have a day job, I could throw away my watch. <laughs> I know it's on the phone. Look at the penguins. They're hanging out. They're just kind of staring at the walls there. But, uh, yeah, they're cute. The penguins. Every once in a while you catch them swimming around, they got their little caves they can go in there. So yeah, again, we're at the Lincoln Park Zoo. We're just checking out the uh, penguin exhibit here. Maybe let's go check out the zebras here. So I'll just give you a brief overview. I'm not gonna, hey, they're hanging out with the zebras, yeah. Let's go check them out here. They got this ball that spins around here. There, they're eating. They're, they're chowing down here. So let's, let's zoom into the, the the honey badgers of the horse world. That's great. Yeah, the honey badgers. Don't mess with the honey badger and don't mess with the zebra. I agree. They'll they'll get you. They'll bite you. They'll they'll kick you with their hind legs like a horse. They are kind of like horses. Look at the zebras here. And uh, thanks for tuning in. So sometimes the zebras are on the other end. They got them here now. So I wonder where the giraffes are. The last time we were here, the giraffes were in here. Sometimes the giraffes and the zebras are in the same exhibit. And uh, they got this there. Pl plain zebra. There you see their habitat. See, they still say they got the giraffe here. The giraffes are probably inside. So, uh... The African lion cub recently had surgery Slipped this from birth. Surgery was March 5th. No, I haven't heard about that. Thanks for the information, Michael. So I guess was that one of the... They had three lion cubs that we saw earlier this last year. Uh, and maybe it was one of those. They're, they're full... They look like they're full grown now. I mean, they grow up so fast. So I'll look into that. Maybe if we go to the lion house on the way back, maybe we can ask somebody over there how it's doing. And, uh... Hey, thanks for the good information there. That's, uh... Yeah, I agree. I agree, Cliff Dweller. Thanks for the good information. Yeah, zebras have never been tamed. Isn't that amazing? They're, 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 they're not domesticated like the horses. Of course, we have feral horses that still live in the West there. You know, some of them go back to the Spanish conquistadors, the 1500s. Isn't that amazing? And the, the, uh, the uh, Comanche, the Comanche independently domesticated them again when the, these, the Spanish lost control of them. And uh, that's how the Comanches and the Apaches got a lot of their horses. Here's uh, historically, but uh, here we'll go through the Regenstein, Re Regenstein African journey. Here's a map of, see we start here, you go through the Diana monkey, the crocodile, hippopotamus, meerkat giraffe. There's also a uh, aardvark over there and a few other things like the the uh, cockroaches. So here, let's head through the African journey here. Lincoln Park Zoo. Thanks everybody for being on here. And of course, we've gone through here before. They kind of, you know, I call this uh, Disney Imagineering. They create a nice little, like you get off a train stop here in Africa. And we'll go through the Diana monkeys. There's a Diana monkey. Look, how you doing there? Great Poupon, yeah, you got some Great Poupon. There's the uh, Diana monkey, there's one over there. There's two of them over here. There's the Diana monkeys hanging out there. They, they spotted us. You hear them calling there? There's the Diana monkey. They're behind the net there. There's one up there. How you doing there? <laughs> Look at those tails, really long tails. Diana monkey here, Lincoln Park Zoo. And this is inside, so it's nice and warm in here. There's a lot of birds here. See, there's some birds eating over there. Uh, and now you're in with the birds, so the birds can... you got to watch out. Sometimes the birds will, will uh, relieve themselves on you. But there's the Diana monkey. And there they're climbing around. 
Yeah, we turn on the chat here. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with the hippos. Yeah, hippos can chomp on you. Yeah, if you ever see a hippo in the wild, don't get out of the car. <laughs> you know, there's a the one we got in the zoo here is a pygmy um, hippopotamus, so it's a small one. But the, the the ones, the other ones, they get really large and they could crush you. They could crush your bones, you know, with their jaws. Uh, here's where the crocodiles in here. They used to be a bunch of fish down in here too, but they don't. They removed the fish. I don't. I don't know what happened with the fish, but uh, there's the West African dwarf crocodile. I don't see it here, but it's a nice. It's a nice exhibit with the waterfalls and stuff. Now, uh, a uh, trig uh, trigger warning. We got the Madagascar hissing cockroach. So if you don't like insects, I'm gonna walk into. It's like the, you're in the inside of a tree here, and they got all these. Uh, Hissing cockroaches hanging out here, crawling around there. You see, yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? That's what you want to see is a bunch of uh, bugs. <laughs> there, we'll get out of here. And there used to be a spider there, but the spider must have crawled away. Because they said they're temporary off exhibit, so who knows where the spider went. <laughs> it's like a horror movie, I know. Trapped in a tree. It's like... Think about how many Indiana Jones movies. That's what they did. They would just be have to go go through the cave, and the bugs would be crawling all over them. And there's the hippo. Yeah, the hippos, hippos walking around here. So, you know, I'll go quiet here. Let's see if we can catch the hippo. There it is. Look at this. It's walking around. This is the pygmy hippo, Lincoln Park Zoo. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, they don't swim, they just walk. That's yeah, great. Yeah, that's awesome, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the applauding roaches, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm talking. I'm talking to somebody. It's just makes a lot of water. Here it is, here it comes back. Yeah, look at that. Hippopotamus swimming around. Let's look at the look at his feet. There, look, you see it's surfacing. Here it comes. Oh yeah, look at that. Walking on the bottom of the walk surface of the water there. Going from side to side, going from side to side. Yeah, insects and are so alien, just like the spiders, you know. It's just it's just yeah, spiders still freak me out. I don't know why. I mean I it's nice watching the hippo here. Back and forth. Thanks for tuning in. Checking out the hippo here, Lincoln Park Zoo. This is good footage. We already got a recording from the last time we saw it doing this. I got really excited because, yeah. Yeah. So, if this bothers you, you can personally come here and break this hip hippopotamus and take it back to Africa. You can. You can do it on your own. <laughs> I just film the world as it exists, not as we want it to be. This zoo existed before I moved to Chicago. It's still going to exist after I'm gone, probably. And I know it's not everybody likes zoos, but I, it's something easy for me to walk by and film. And it's, it's here whether I film it or not. So some people enjoy it. And if other people don't, you can watch something else. That's fine. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Michael Anderson. Fiano the Hippo. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I heard about Fiona. Fiona is the, uh, the hippopotamus at the Cincinnati Zoo. Cincinnati has a great zoo. And uh, you gotta pay to go in that one, but it's a uh, nice, nice zoo. And uh, so we got 
clip springers. These birds, but the clip springers are cute. They got these little, I mean, to me they look like baby deer, but even the adults, they're full grown. Sometimes they're not out. Um, that's why I showed the picture of what they look like because I don't see them out. There's some birds in there. So let's head over and see if we can see the giraffes and or the meerkats. Sounds like they're cleaning something, so they might be, I heard them like spraying down something. There's no guarantee if, if the meerkats are not out. I got footage, you can go to the my reruns there, the, the video clips, and I clipped out the meerkats from before. Here's the giraffe, one of the giraffes. They're eating their lunch there, they're inside here. Here's the Lincoln Park too. They do have a large area outside that they can run around, and I got footage of the giraffes running around. It was a warmer day. Here's the meerkat. The meerkats are on this side. There's the meerkats right there. It's digging a hole. How you doing there, meerkat? Look at the giraffes heading into the uh, closure there. The meerkats are digging a hole. They're on this side. So they, the meerkats can go on both sides. Hey, it's looking at us. There's the meerkat running around there. Ned, yeah, you see the giraffe, Sharon? Yeah, Sharon knows the giraffes. We'll see if they come back here. They went inside there to have some food there. Hopefully I didn't disturb them with my voice. Here, they, here you can see it over there. It'll come back out. They usually come back out here. Hey, the meerkats are digging holes there. There comes the giraffes. There you go, Sharon, look at that. Hey, they're coming out to say hello. There's your... Yeah, there you go, Cliff, Cliff Thor. Thanks for the good information there. See, zoos aren't all bad. If positive and negative is everything. What do I always say? Positive and negative is everything. And if you care about animals and if you care about the size of their habitats, I'm sure you care about the environment. And like when I filmed the polar bear, people are like, they felt so bad for the polar bear. I said, well, I hope we also feel bad for the polar bears that are losing their habitat due to the loss of ice in the Arctic and Antarctic, you know. And look at, the, look at this guy right here. There's a meerkat. Let's zoom in a little bit to this guy sitting on the perch there. How you doing there? You got the nice high ground there? You looking at the giraffe? I wonder what the meerkats think of the giraffes. You got to seem really large to them. Yeah, graceful dancers. Sharon and Shannon, Michael, that's good. See the giraffes over there. Yeah, meerkats. <laughs> Let me do it just a little bit so I can get both of them there. There, see the ones down in the hole down there. Man, it's beautiful. That's why I like coming over here. We got 1234, hanging out with the meerkats and the giraffes. We got to see both of them. We got to see the little bit of the giraffes, a little bit of the meerkats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you can see the giraffes over there. See if it, I guess they're probably eating. There's an aardvark. Uh, sometimes the aardvark. Yeah, there's the aardvark. There's an aardvark sleeping. So the aardvarks are nocturnal. There was one time I saw it walking around. There's the aardvark. It's, it's sleeping because it's daytime. But there was one time I saw the aardvark walking around. It's, it's rare to see it walking around. Aardvark. All these animals are in Africa. Or, or you know, their natural habitat, of course. And so uh, let's head over to the fish tank here. Sometimes I lose my connection right here. We'll see if we can maintain a connection to film the... Uh, yeah, we're going to go back outside. You, you can walk from one end to the other, so it's meant to be walked through indoors. This is, we're nearing the end here. Here's the, uh, the fish, the freshwater fish that are in Lake Malawi in uh, Africa has its own freshwater lakes, the, the rift area of Africa, and uh, that's what this is. You see this Lake Malawi. Uh, this, uh, you know, south of Lake Victoria and stuff like that. They got freshwater lakes. And, of course, Lake Victoria is the source of the Nile, one of the sources of the Nile. But uh, look at these beautiful fish here.
So here, I'll show you how you get back to the outside here. You go right to the outside. It takes you over towards the polar bear. You got a Margaret Me quote. And uh, we'll see if the polar bear is out. Probably not. It's really rare to see the polar bear out. That's why the last time I saw it swimming around, I made sure I cut out that footage. See, yeah, we're, now we're back outside. So let's see if we can see the zebras on this side. And... Uh, Yeah, sometimes the giraffes and zebras can go over there. And uh, we'll go down to the Walter family Arctic tundra, the polar bear. They've expanded the polar bear's exhibit. If you think it's small now, it actually was smaller and it's much larger now. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see the polar bear swimming down here. So we'll, uh, we'll keep on going here. You see the, the snow melting from the roof there. We got daffodils trying to bloom. <laughs> yeah, thanks for checking out the zoo. I appreciate it. See, there's the, you can see the zebras across the way. We saw them from the other side. And so you see how we entered. That was the whole indoor part over there. And there's zebras across the way there. And sometimes the giraffes, I think the giraffes can go outside when they want. And uh, we saw them prancing around last time so if you want to see that check out my reruns there if you haven't seen it people know what i'm talking about i think most of you saw the giraffes galloping around that was a amazing thing to witness i'm glad we caught it on film look at these giant doors for the giraffes <laughs> thanks danny thanks chris yeah great way to spend the afternoon yeah happy friday See, now it's, it, feels, it feels not too bad now. It was, felt colder this morning. It is trying to warm up a little bit. And uh, we'll see if we see the rhinoceros. And then they got uh, some picnic areas. See, they polar bears up that way. Rhinoceros is over there. Rhinoceros is probably inside unless it's on the other side. So there used to be a way to get, you could get out of the Caldwell Lily Pool and go into the zoo, but they, they, they blocked off that turnstile. And then this is the side of the Lincoln Park Conservatory. We'll walk around here. What time we got, 12.39. Yeah, let's go to the lion house. We'll see if we can catch the lions. And if not, we'll try to check out something else really quickly over there. And uh, if I walked the other way, we could have went through the birdhouse, but it's a lot of doors to go through. You got to go through all these doors that close. But here's a map. Here's a map. You can check this out online. There's a map to the Lincoln Park Zoo. And uh, there's a nice skyline view once we get around these timbers here. They used to open this gate, but since the pandemic, they don't open this gate anymore. And they limit the access and the number of people that come in and out of the zoo. It was for a while you had to get a QR code just like the conservatory but then thankfully they just let you walk through but they don't have all the gates open like they used to i used to be able to enter that gate which was more convenient to me but uh yeah shows you how there's the we're, we're in the post-pandemic world things have changed permanently and we're, we can't go back we can't go back to the world before the pandemic and some people prefer this world you know and i i get that you know <laughs> look at the uh daffodils yeah oh the zoo lights were great yeah if you ever ever if you ever miss it you can watch re that's why when the when the snow was on the ground this morning i, I rewatched the coney island footage when i wrote drove my cousin we, we we drove through the lights there at the coney island there in cincinnati to, on time to the christmas music there there we are in march and i'm listening to christmas music with the with the uh Coney Island lights there in Cincinnati. You can watch the Lincoln Park Zoo lights do the same thing. But here, th th this this looks nice. Look at the daffodils blooming over here. Hey Mona, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in there. Yeah, we're at the zoo. If you missed it, you can watch, you can rewind and watch the, we saw the macaques. We saw the zebra. Hippopotamus was walking around. We did catch the meerkats and the giraffes. Briefly, the giraffes weren't, uh, kept going in the back there but uh, we saw the diana monkey and uh, we saw the seals and we saw the wolf we saw a wolf make a rare cameo and i cut off the sound trying to zoom in in my haste there's the photo booth 
Yay for spring, yeah. We got the whole spring and summer ahead of us. I look forward to coming back to the zoo and seeing it packed with people in the summertime. They usually have it programmed with events and stuff. And we'll, 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 since we're walking right by, we'll, we'll see if the macaques are still doing their experiments here with the... Yeah, she's in there still. Yeah, she's cleaning up here, so I guess they probably ended it. They probably do this often. And yeah, they're they're not even in there. We caught we caught them doing the experiments there, so we at least got to see that. Here they're all over here. They're all over here by the rocks here. Look how they're grooming. Look, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. They'll do that. They sit on those rocks because they're heated rocks. Those are the macaques. So we saw we saw them walking around before and doing experiments. And uh, we'll keep on going. There's a group of people here. We'll walk through this little cafe. There, you see, shows how they. No one grooms like mom, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Japanese macaques. You worked at the Brookfield Zoo for 12 years? That's great, Orlando. We, we should tell that to Pizza, Pizza Lisa. Lisa worked at the Omaha Zoo. You worked at the Brookfield Zoo. That's great. Hey, Daryl, thanks for tuning in from Burbank. Yeah, we're at the Lincoln Park Zoo. I bet you've been to the Brookfield Zoo. That's probably closer to you. But we're in the Lincoln Park Zoo, the free zoo in the city. But you've probably been to both. There's some there's some student groups heading through here. There's, there's Happy Friday, Happy uh, March 22nd. The snow's pretty much gone already. And uh, let's see if we can see if... Uh, there's no guarantee the lions are going to be out. I don't see them unless they're on the other side. Yeah, we'll see if anybody. I'll take a peek, peep inside the lion house here if we see a crowd gathered at the other window. But if not, they, I might not walk through there because they, they might not be out. The seagulls are out. We saw the seals. Here, are the uh, Pepper Family Wildlife Center, the Cobbler, Cover Lion House here. This is one of the buildings that goes back to 1914 I think that's they restored this recently we'll take a peek inside see if we see any yeah there's not many people in here there's restrooms in here which is you know I'll show you the inside here here's the uh, Coker lion house and yeah, the lions are not out I can tell because no one's over there so what time we got here 1244 so uh, we might have just enough time to go through the small primate house. Unless the lions are right there. There they are. There they are. Maybe I, um, See, I wasn't even going to come over here. And the whole, the whole pride, the whole family is sitting there on those rocks. So this will be nice. So here's the lions. We're lucking out. I'm glad I came over here. Look, the lion's having his bone there. There's the... There's the... There's the... Look at that. that. So those are those are some of the ones that were babies last. The cubs, and look how look how large they're getting there. There's the, look at this look at this one gnawing on the bone here. Here's here's the lion here chewing on the bone, and this one's coming around here. Maybe it'll come right over here. Look at this. Look at it. it's stalking. It's starting to stalk. This sees that bone. Here, it's getting some water. How you doing there? It sees us. How you doing there, lion? What do you see? I see somebody behind me. You see this, Jennifer? Hey, welcome to the Lincoln Park Zoo. See how you can get right in that window there. They got a nice view of them. And if we look over here, here's the rest of the family. There was, yeah, this, this last year there was three lion cubs and there was three different mothers, I think, and there was the, the male, you know, and it, we, we got some good footage last year. Now they're all grown. Look how big they are. And, uh, it's playing with the, it's playing with the, it's roll, it's rolling, it's rolling the, the bin around there. Look at that, it's pushing the bin. Well, this is great. So we'll just spend the rest of my time here filming the lions, because uh, it's hard to see them out in the winter time. A lot of times they're not out. And see those those ones those ones went back inside. They they can go inside there. This one's just playing around there. Yeah, see there they go.
Thank you. Thanks for hanging on here. And let me zoom in a little bit. See, they're going to head back inside there. So I uh, might be looking to have their lunch there or something. Going back in the cave. But here there's still two of them over there. So we did get to see the lions. This is good. Thanks for staying on here. Lincoln Park Zoo. Hanging with the lions. And uh, if we go back outside, we might be able to see them from the outside. See, you can walk around in there. I usually lose my connection when I walk in there for some reason. It's just a confined space. And... Uh, Yeah, they all go in together. Yeah, they heard the lunch bunch was coming. That's it. They, they're going into... Uh... But here, let's walk outside here. Let's walk around the other side, and then we'll film them from the other side. Uh, here, This is called the Tawani Great Hall. And uh, Oh, it was built earlier, 1912. 1912, restored in 2021. And I remember when they restored it. And uh, see, there's restrooms here. And uh, here's where the merry-go-round is it looks like a volcano and there's the small primate house the little monkeys are in there we, we filmed that before but since the lions are out we'll, we'll, we'll head around we got 1248 so I'll try to film them from the other side here they have zip lines sometimes they put the food on the zip lines and uh, they chase it around which is interesting if you can catch that there's certain feeding times Nah, they heard the lunch bunch was coming here, we'll be able to film them here. We'll go through the glass here. There's a nice glass. You can get pretty close to them here. And uh, there, there, there. Look, on the pride rock there, there's a lioness sitting up there. Look how nice that looks. So here, we'll go right over here. How you doing? Yeah, that's a nice shot there. Let's zoom in here. Let's get this. So hopefully I won't turn off the audio here. Hey, they're looking at you. There you go. There's your lions hanging out on pride rock. Just lying around it's the two mamas there it's the two mamas there's three mamas there's three babies or they're 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 grown now they're like teenagers and uh one year old and i i guess one of them's like like uh who was saying that michael i think i had to go to the hospital it had a slip disc or something so we'll look into that and i don't know anything about that but then thanks for the information and uh yeah we got to see the lions Hey, thanks, Jennifer. So if you missed any part of the earlier live, you can watch the uh, full rerun there on the live tab there on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in on YouTube. And there it's looking right at us. It hears me talking there. There's the lioness hanging out on the rock there. What a beautiful creature. And you got to, yeah, of course, treat these animals with respect. The good thing, their, their habitat is greatly enlarged now. They, they used to, this side was the tiger's. And the other side was the lions. They give the, they gave the whole tiger habitat to the lions, so they can go from either side, and they greatly improved it. They pretty much made this whole house just for the lions. I mean, when they renovated it, and uh, yeah, she's looking right at us. She's like, "What's that guy doing?" <laughs> yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything about the sloths. Uh, where are the sloths at? Um, I don't know. Are there sloths in the Lincoln Park Zoo? Chris, thanks for the... Anna Marie, thanks for the uh, emojis there, Michael and Danny. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yeah. Hanging out with the lions. I do like sloths, you know. Uh, I just don't know where they're at. I honestly don't know where they're at in the zoo, if they even have the sloths. Um, do they have sloths? Where do they have sloths? Um, I know the reptile, maybe in the reptile, they, I, I know they have some, we got lemurs. There, there you can see the lions there, let's see. Somebody on TikTok said that we had them. Okay, good. So if I, I, I would love to film the sloths, I got to figure out where they're at. And uh, they're probably in the reptile house because they got like otters and they got turtles and they have iguanas in there and other things um, I'll look that up and I, I come to the zoo often so I'll make a point to figure out where the sloths are and if the next time we come here we'll check them out but the sloths are amazing when you see them and they move really slow 
marsupials. Yeah, so there there are there are kangaroos and um, Yeah, thanks, J Cat. Thanks for understanding. There's no guarantee, even if I went to where they were at. Yeah, monitor lizards. There is a reptile house. They probably got monitor lizards over there. Um, I got uh, I got eight minutes, so let's uh, let's book it over to the reptile house, and uh, I'll mainly just go through. There's a um, greenhouse area in the back. It's hard to film in the front because there's a bunch of little reptiles and the snakes and frogs and things like that. And you, you go through a nocturnal area where there's... We did see the bush baby. The bush baby was interesting. There was two bush babies. And uh, if you watch, the, go back about two weeks, we went through the zoo and we saw the bush baby. That was, that was interesting. But... Uh, we might have, you know, I got like five, I got like five minutes to just give you an overview of the reptile house. We won't be able to stay there long. And then I got to go back to work because I'm working from home today. And uh, that's where they're heading over there. They're heading, they're heading right into the reptile house here. I got to be paying out of there a little bit. I'm zoomed in. I'm zoomed in here. Hold on. There we go. And the sloths might be in here. The sloths might be in the reptile house. I just didn't notice them the last time I was in there. Uh, maybe let's look. Let's look on this map here. Let's see. Uh, huh. Primate. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to get back to you. See, this building's temporary closed. This was not closed the last time we were here. We walked all through here. This is new, so they're 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 doing some renovations to the small mammal reptile house so we'll just go over and check out the flamingos and we'll have to call it a day but hey i live near the lincoln park zoo i'll probably come here at least once a month if not once every two weeks and in the summertime i walk through here a lot more often because the zoo stays open later in the evenings and sometimes we can walk through here on my evening walks. Uh, we'll go past the Daffodils Hill. Here, this is the Swan Pond, Lincoln Park Zoo. You see, I wanted to go inside that greenhouse, but they, 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 uh, they must have just closed it for renovations, and that's new to me. I did not realize that. <laughs> it's always a surprise when you come over here. Something's going on. But here, let's see if the flamingos are out. And if the flamingos are out, we'll, we'll film them. And then we'll just walk out of the zoo and wish everybody a good weekend. I probably will not be on TikTok tonight. We had such a nice walk this morning. We had over a thousand people in the chat watching the snow. And uh, it was beautiful. And uh, we got a new a lot of new subscribers uh, or followers. And here's the flamingos. They're all down in the water. They're all down in the water. So we'll cross the bridge. There, there there's, there's some other ducks that always hang out. Let's, let's cross this bridge here. We'll be able to film them from the bridge here, I think. And uh, we'll head right around here. Have an amazing weekend, Anita, thanks. Komodo dragon. Yeah, there's a Komodo dragon inside the reptile house, but it's closed. It's just, I, I have no control. But there's the flamingos. The flamingos are in the water here. If I get on this bridge here where they're at, we can film them, yeah. Okay. There they are. Look at that. There's their flamingos hanging out in the pond there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, the zoo's free for everybody. Yeah, I'm not a member or anything. Uh, friends of mine are members of the zoo. You can be friends of the zoo and you get special events and things. But hey, look at the flamingos. They're looking nice. Let's see how far we can zoom in here. They're always, they, 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 they feed them shrimp. That's why they, they, they're that color. And uh, pink flamingos. Look, they always they always have the battles there. They're always like, like uh, mouthing off to each other. It's funny. <laughs> There's the pink flamingos, Lincoln Park Zoo, fishing around the water. They're just like the ones you see in Florida. <laughs> lawn yards, lawn lawn uh, ornaments. These are the real deal. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks for understanding. So we'll we'll give it a try next time. 
And uh, thanks for the information, Chris. Matthew Broderick and Marlon Brando. Yeah, The Freshman. Yeah, that's a great movie there. Yeah, they, they eat the endangered species because uh, it was like a status thing that they could afford to, you know, just be so arrogant to eat endangered species, spend their wealth that way. That's a, that's a great movie. Yeah, well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Lincoln Park Zoo. Hanging with the flamingos. They got a nice pond. Look at the weeping willows. Look at the weeping willow trees. They're starting to turn green. They always turn green early. You got the seagulls out here. The seagulls usually fight the flamingos for their food. And that's a statue of a bear. They got a nice water fountain. There's the flamingo dome. There's their habitat when they go inside. They can go there at night and be protected. And the swans, the swans are usually around here. This is the swan pond. But I don't see them. And uh, there's some ducks. There's, is Kevin watching? Yeah, we got some ducks here. And uh, we got some flamingos. Got a nice waterfall. Trees are turning green. We got, we got seagulls. How you doing, seagulls? See, some animals could just live outside and other ones are behind bars. I know it's not fair. It's just... Uh, <laughs> there's, there's coyotes and beavers that live in Lincoln Park. You know, see, they got this closed off, so we'll we'll go back the way we came here, and we'll exit out the uh, we'll exit through the gift shop here. <laughs> yeah, this one's weeping willows, nice, it's nice signs of spring there. Hey, that bird's got a leaf here. How you doing there? <laughs> Flamingos fishing around. Look at look at this tree. This pink this pink trees. I'll walk through here when all these trees are bursting forth. Well, it'll be beautiful. I also, I know Grim Evil wants me to go up to the Graceland Cemetery. I know Magic Mike's went up there. I'll wait till springtime. You know, when we get a nice 70 degree April day, when the when the when all the trees are blooming, I'll try to go up to Graceland Cemetery. There's so many historical graves there, famous historical Chicagoans, architects, you know, industry leaders, writers that, that are buried there, musicians, and just, you know, other people. The interesting grave markers and beautiful landscaping there. We'll go up to Graceland Cemetery and film that. And we, I'll come back and film the zoo when all these spring trees and flowers are bursting forth and the tulips. We got the tulips on Michigan Avenue. They're going to start blooming next Thursday's opening day for the White Sox. I think that's a 320 game. I'm not going to go in the game. I'm just going to go. I, if I can get off of work, I'll just film people tailgating. And then April 1st is opening day for the Cubs. I think it's a 12 early game, like a noon 12-10 game or 12-15. I'll probably just take off of work, head up there in the morning, go to the bars in Wrigleyville and interview people. And I won't go into that either. And then, you know, after when the game's going on, I'll just walk through the neighborhoods. You know, I'll walk through Pilsen and Bridgeport from Sox Park and from Wrigley. If it's a nice day, I might do Graceland Cemetery after when the Cubs are playing their uh, home opener. And then people can keep me updated on the scores. That's what happened last year. It's not that I wouldn't want to go in the game. It's just, you know, I got to walk and talk. You got to keep walking. Chris and I will be going to a game in May anyway, so we'll, we got some free tickets. We'll take advantage of that. But here's the Seals, Lincoln Park Zoo. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Yeah, Graceland Cemetery. That's good. Yeah, Michael Anderson. I, I know a lot of people will be interested in that cemetery. It's not just grim evil. Thanks for the, uh, the good uh, feedback there. Have a great weekend, Shannon, Marco, Michael, J-Cat, Jennifer, Patricia, Chris. Thanks for being on, the Cliff Dweller, and everybody else. Thanks for the good information. And Anita, and uh, hey, have a good weekend I, I, like i said i probably won't be on tonight i'm gonna watch i'm gonna live stream the um ultra music festival and we got all these basketball games i know the congratulations to the illini they they won their game yesterday against moorhead state unlike kentucky can you believe kentucky lost kentucky lost to oakland who 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 picked oakland to upset kentucky i know kentucky has been upset several years in a row now it's just it shows you anybody can beat anybody and that's why they got to play the game so we got all these exciting march madness ncaa games 
We got the Ultra Music Festival. You can live stream it. I don't know if it's on Hulu or if you go to YouTube. You can live stream it for free if you like electronic dance music. And I'll, I'll get to relieve I'll get to relive my 1990s rave days. You know, watching all the young kids there, spring breakers down there in Miami. So, <laughs> yeah, free zoo. Lincoln Park Zoo is a free zoo. So, check it out. And uh, yeah, Kentucky, yeah, Kentucky, we. I'd rather somebody like Oakland, the you know the these Cinderella stories. It makes it so much more exciting, like it was last. Everybody's bracket was both breasted last year, and it's going to continue this year. So. I'm going to sign off. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great day here from Chicago. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday, unless I stream over the weekend. No guarantees. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for all the well wishes for Sarah. She really appreciates it. She was on this morning, and I'll keep you updated. All right, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. No problem, Anna Marie. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Anita. Yeah, we'll get some rest. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs>